Hey, this is Brian Jones from eLearningArt.com. Just wanted to show you really quickly um, the feature of importing PowerPoints um, into Captivate. And specifically, I was using these display board templates where I created these three different views. I have another video where I show you how to actually uh, build these out. Uh, essentially, they're they're built as several different assets with you know, a person and a screen and kind of this wall in the background and a floor. Um, but uh, Captivate, and let me pull up Captivate really quickly. So if I pull up Captivate, um, you'll see when I go to create a new file, um, under Create New there is From Microsoft PowerPoint. And if I click on that, it's going to allow me to select the uh, PowerPoint file and, um, and then uh, it'll pull it in and, and do some conversion. And it's, it's actually it's, it's pretty nice, but there's some tricks that you need to know with how to set up your PowerPoint file. So let's actually go ahead and get into that. Um, it's going to convert um, whatever was on the slide into a single image. So there's some things that you want to do to maintain flexibility. So um, when I'm in this slide here, what I would do, I, I'd keep my selection and visibility pane open and I would hide all the components that I want to be able to customize. So I like to be able to have the flexibility to add whatever character I want, whatever character expression I want. And in Captivate 6, there's some options where there's some characters that are built in, so that's great. Um, so I'm going to hide this person, and I'm also going to hide the, the word content here and that content text. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do the same thing. Hide these two elements. And it's helpful if you name these in PowerPoint so that you can find uh, you can find what they are very quickly. So again, I know the content text is going to hide that. So now I have these three slides, and I'd like to bring those three slides in. So I'd go ahead and I would save out this file, and then when I go to Captivate, I would just create a new project, and I'd go from Microsoft PowerPoint. And there's my chalkboard template that I want to do. So I double click that and it starts doing a little bit of work here. Okay, so it's going to ask me about the project side up, size and all of that. I'm just going to leave everything as the presets. Uh, it asks me which slides I want to include, and I want to include them all. And uh, I actually like to change it to automatically, just because otherwise it puts a click box on the screen, and I, I don't really want that right now. And I'm going to make them not linked for right now. So I have everything selected, default settings, uh, automatic advance, not linked, and then I click OK. So now you'll see that um, we've inserted the slides from PowerPoint, and it's going to show up. Here are the three different views that we had, the zoom out, the transition zoom, and the, and the zoom in. So now we can edit the various components um, that, were, that were pulled out before, which would be the character and the text. So to insert a character within Captivate 6, there's pre-built character, or, uh, characters included here. So go to Insert, Characters, and uh, you, know, you can scroll between characters. I'm going to choose Steve here. And let's drop this picture of him pointing. And there he is. Now, if you want to scale him, make sure you keep the constraint proportions um, locked by holding Shift as you scale it up. And another quick pointer here would be um, when you click off the image and when you're uh, doing the quality here, you want to change it off of low. A lot of times the transparency in the hair gets messed up. So now switch that over to high. And you got that there. And, uh, and now you can also just insert whatever text you want. So uh, I would insert a standard object. We can just add some text. And now we can make that bigger. And you can change the color of it or whatever. Um, Let's go ahead and drag that around. Let's change that to white. But anyways, um, you can see that uh, just within Captivate here, you can uh, take PowerPoint slides, uh, hide the elements that you don't want to be showing up, uh, convert it over into Captivate, and then add the elements that you want to add, which would be the person and the content that you're going to put onto the screen.